boop, 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 bobbing along. Kai, we're Stuart and Emmy, and we're child-free after infertility. So we decided to change our life plans and moved on to a narrow boat. We're sharing our adventures here and you're welcome to join us. Hello and welcome. You're joining us in a beautiful overground spot just outside Cosgrove. I'm going to have a solo concrete cow adventure before we move on and we reflect on upcoming changes. I, I think my heart lives for these sorts of spots, these beautiful choir. I mean, there's other boats around. There's one two or three minutes walk that way. There's the Taverners Club, which is like a little boat yard just there. And look, there's Emmy! Um, and uh, yeah, I just, I, I love these spots. I love these quiet little, easy little spots. I've got some friends coming up. Filming. I've got some friends coming up on Saturday, so um, be nice to just be in a nice quiet little spot to ourselves as well. While I was doing the rope fender, I just found this guy in the water. Not looking so good. Hopefully you dry out and you're able to take flight soon. Lovely moment. That uh, butterfly that I just saved from the water just flew over to me and then flew off. Oh, it's recording. <laughs> Good morning. It's like seven in the morning on Saturday. It's, when is it? We're at the beginning of July. It's the beginning yeah. of July. It's like eighth, seventh or eighth. Oh, are you decent? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's like seven in the morning um, on Saturday at the start of July. And Stu's having some friends over today. Um yeah, I think he's hosting them all all day basically. Gonna do yeah. some games, D and D, um, and go to the pub. I uh, I'm looking forward to meeting them because I've heard about them, but um, I think I'm going to go on a little adventure pretty soon because it's going to be sunny this morning and stormy this afternoon um, to see the famous Milton Keynes concrete cows if I can find them because they're apparently in the middle of a field and a bit hard to find. And Stu is uh, going to make some pizza. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be around for it now, actually. But can you save me some? Yeah, of course. Stu makes really good pizza. Okay, I'm off on a solo adventure. Um, I have contacts in ready so I can wear sunglasses, but also my packet jacket because it is going to rain in a couple of hours and it will be an hour and a half's walk to find the concrete cows, which I will hopefully find. And Stu is getting ready to, whatever he's doing, ready for his friends to come. <laughs> Cleaning. Bye, Stu. Bye. Have fun with the cows. First and foremost, some real cows. is actually wrong with me. I've come out for a three hour walk with no bottle of water. drink and snacks obtained once I got to Wolverton. a Roman villa over there. It's strange to think this is the ghost of someone's home, the outlines of a house.
there they are, but they've got a cage around them and I need to find out how to get over there. <laughs> no. <laughs> so they're in the middle of being repainted. Oh, is this one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I met a lovely man and his dogs by the cows. He used to be a dairy farmer and said he thought they looked nothing like cows, but also that they capture the charm and personality of cows, because cows have so much personality when you get to know them. Bye cows. Lovely to meet you, you were charming. this hum, not the traffic further back, but this hum from the field. I thought it was electricity at first, but there's no wires. I think this is insects. Just the hum of life. I am not a fan of bugs if they're indoors in my space but the hum of them living outside all together. I really like that in their own space. Oh, Bill Billings is the guy that did the dinosaur. Um, sculpture and the replica concrete cows. I think. Yeah, I think there's a real set of concrete cows and a replica set. Um, and one set is at the museum, probably the real set. And then the ones I've just seen are probably the replica set. I stopped for a magazine break in the secret garden on my way back and met some sweet, nervous baby rats. So I read my Tesco magazine, which I was going to put back in Tesco, but actually it suckered me in and now I'm gonna make a cauliflower pasta and I've bought cauliflowers. It's still so warm. <laughs> I think I'm about to cross paths with Stu on his way to meet his friends. Quick, let's meet under this tree where that dry patch is. <laughs> how's your morning day? All right, how's yours? get back here and um, I'm gonna do a bit of reading so I'm really excited because I didn't know this uh, probably I'm the last to know uh, but you can borrow ebooks from the library so now I am borrowing books from the library without having to go into a library um, and it's really great good morning it's Sunday <laughs> Um, Stu had such a lovely day yesterday with his friends and it was nice to meet them. Uh, we didn't film again in the end. Um, but it's now Sunday and we're feeling relaxed enough to go for a run, our very first run from the boat. 
<laughs> uh, but also it's because we have to go back into Wolverton. The battery ran out on our smoke alarm and Stu was supposed to pick up our new smoke alarm from the lockers when he went to meet his friends yesterday. But I've got. <laughs> so we have to do that. So we're going to do the rubbish, have a run, pick up the smoke alarm and then have a relaxed Sunday. <laughs> Here's all the beer that got drunk yesterday. Not by me. A successful run, would you say, Stu? And shopping trip. Yes, toilet paper. Because <laughs> why do one job when you can do three? Yeah. I'm feeling really pleased with it. So we cut our commute in half. So instead of a 40 minute walk, it was a 20 minute run. We've picked up the new smoke detector. I don't know if we mentioned that. We had our smoke detector ran out of battery and you can't replace the battery. You have to get a new one. And Stu was supposed to pick it up um, yesterday when he went to yeah. meet his friends, but he forgot. So we had to go to Wolverton today. But we've also got rid of our rubbish and done a food shop and done some exercise. So I'm feeling pretty good. It's lunchtime. Let's get back to the boat. Yeah. Stretch in there and eat something. Whoop. Out a day. <laughs> New smoke alarm on. Yeah. Is it working? No. Yay. <laughs> Safety. It's not very loud, is it? It's, wait, what day is it? It's Monday evening and we, it's the beginning of starting to move quite intensely. So Stu has a guitar show in Brighton this weekend. We need to be in Weedon by the weekend because that's where hopefully Enterprise are going to pick us up to hire a car or pick Stu up to hire a car so we can get there with his guitars. And we are currently just outside Cosgrove. So over the next few nights this week, we need to get to Weedon. And today's goal is Stoke Brewer. This cruise will now fade out to us reflecting on the changes ahead of us. It was actually recorded when we arrived at the previous spot, but we accidentally didn't film the end of this cruise and thought it would be nice to finish this video with a chat. Unfortunately there's a bit of wind noise, but hopefully it's not too annoying. Hi. We are sitting on the roof of the boat. Um, it's a Wednesday evening and we've just moved to the middle of nowhere. Beautiful spot. Um, just outside Cosgrove, which is just outside Milton Keynes. And we were just talking about how basically it's time to start heading north because um, we were originally, we both work in London. We've lived in London, we lived in London for 10 Eight, years, 15, no, 10, 18 years. <laughs> nearly 20 years. Um, and we worked in London and we were heading towards London. But we are turning round and now we are heading more in earnest up north towards where my granny lives in Sheffield so we can be um, around for her a bit more as well as explore some new areas. Yeah. Um, so everything's changing. It's our last few weeks um, of not, we're going in much less now and it's our last few weeks of that and now we're just uh, well, gonna we're... have to do some we'll push on a bit yeah. well we're pretty much done going in now in fact we are we are boat life working boaty people that all made sense didn't it nope 
Um, so we've got two days in planned over the next few weeks. Stu's got a guitar show in Brighton and um, me and my sister are going to go to Sheffield to see Granny at the end of the month and she's going to pick me up en route. So we've got quite a lot of route planning to do to make sure we're in good places for all of that. A bee flew in my face and then I got distracted by a cyclist. So there's going to be a lot of cruising and soon we'll be on new waters for us, mm. new canals. Which will be very exciting. Yeah, I am, yeah, nervous because this is all very new and uh, a lot of change, but I am excited. I keep talking about where the adventure starts and actually, I mean, obviously it started a year ago and it's all been an adventure, but also I think there's something really exciting about getting onto new stretches of canal that we've never been on, um, but also that we've started, you know, we've hit the point now where, the point of no return where we're not going into London really anymore uh, so easily and it feels like maybe it, may, maybe it's hit us now. Yeah, our life has been in London. Yeah. <laughs> and now it isn't, uh, but <laughs> we're happy. It's exciting. What? I'm it's, really, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Uh, I think, I, I'm really excited to explore, to, to call different places home for a bit, explore different towns, cities, and also just loving beautiful little spots like this out in the middle of nowhere as well. I think for me, boat life encapsulates everything I love about cities, but also everything I love about bleak, beautiful countryside. Well, I don't know about bleak, but... Uh... I mean it in a positive way. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's let's set off. But for now, <laughs> let's eat dinner. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and we hope you enjoyed the video. Please let us know with the like button, and we absolutely love hearing from you in the comments. See you again soon.